no kids. Fuck the kids? Yeah. You have just tuned in to the Mag Nerd Podcast. Your home for everything in music, anime, and gaming. What is up, people? Shown up the king here, back with another video, and today I'm here to bring you guys some more GI Joe news. And man, oh man, this has been a week. So I've already this will be my third GI Joe video this week, and uh, make sure you guys, if you haven't already checked out the other two videos, uh, the first video was me talking about the reveals from Saturday PulseCon 2021. I also uploaded a video yesterday uh, where I talked about in detail why I thought the HasLab Sky Striker wasn't overpriced. So if you guys want to check out those two videos, the links will be in the description below. Or you can just go through my playlist and it'll be there as well. But today, um, Hasbro decided to do another event for uh, Pulse Premium members only which I am a Pulse Premium member. So uh, we have access to, to the 1027 live stream where they revealed uh, two uh, new G.I. Joe figures, one of which is actually on uh, available right now for Premium Pulse members up until 8 p.m. I'm actually recording this at 6.45. I've already gone on to Pulse uh, Premium and pre-ordered my uh, classified series Cobra Officer action figure. Uh, which I'll show you guys a picture of right now. Now, again, I actually did, if you guys follow me on social media, if you follow me on uh, Instagram at uh, Magnet Podcast, and also if you follow me or if you are subscribed to my YouTube channel, you would have known about this about three hours or three or four hours ago because I leaked the image of that on both my Instagram and on my YouTube. So that's a great reason to make sure you guys are subscribed to both. So... It is correct. It is now confirmed that the Cobra Officer is now going to be a release and it's going to be released in July of 2022. It is $22.99 and it is now available on Pulse's website for uh, premium members and it will go on the uh, be available for all other members starting at 8 p.m. Now, if you guys want to take a quick look at this figure, it actually does look pretty good. And what they ended up doing is they decided to go with a different deco style for the Cobra Officer. And they decided that they wanted to go ahead and make sure that uh, the figure itself is not uh, the exact same as anybody else. So right now, this one has a uh, AK-47 and it also has a submachine gun in his hand. And you can also tell that uh, Hasbro did decide to go away from the futuristic look of the other Cobra figures before with the uh, uh, Nerf guns. They are now starting to look forward to uh, doing more streamlined, realistic uh, action figures. And again, as we see here, as I said before, uh, Pulse Premium members will have until 7.59 to get their uh, Cobra Officer while it'll be open to all other fans at 8 p.m. Now, the uh, biggest thing that I did want to talk about here is the other surprise uh, that they actually showed off was actually the Alley Vipers. Now, as you can see here, this is a shot of the Alley Viper uh, neck to the bat that was revealed on Saturday, and it does look pretty good from uh, my perspective. Uh, now, what I will say is that the figure itself looks pretty good. I am not a huge fan of the paint scheme. I much rather um, would have had the a different paint color, but again, I'm not complaining too much. Again, as you can see here, it looks like from the product images that we have here that they will come with the Alley Viper shield. It will come with a visor that can go up and down. It looks like they will also be equipped with assault rifles and the shield and backpack. And again, if you also look closer, uh, you will see that on the other side of the actual shield, you will have a target window on the back of the uh, Alley Viper shield, which actually looks pretty good right along with the production uh, imaging. Now, again, I do know that uh, the Alley Vipers and the Bat actually were um, um, previewed probably about two or three months ago. There was a uh, product shot coming out of China that actually had some um, early um, production shots of the actual shield. And then there was also a uh, image of the, uh, the Bat uh, face. So it looks like all those um, previews and all those leaks that came out like six months, about three months ago, were all correct. And um, I, for one, am super excited. Again, I know there were a lot of people out there who um, hated on uh, Hasbro and G.I. Joe saying that the line was dead and that they were quitting the line. And now I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people 
that are eating humble pie right now because uh, Hasbro is not playing around. They are definitely giving us what we want, and I am very excited to see what the future holds for uh, Hasbro and with uh, G.I. Joe. Now, they did not mention the, uh, cla the classic line. Like, I actually was hoping that they would talk a little bit more about the um, three and a quarter inch scale figures. They did briefly mention the Sky Striker. Um, and again, they want everybody to go ahead and back that. And again, I do I do think you guys should go out and go ahead and back that project because I do think it is definitely worth it. And I will be also working on a video that will be coming out sometime tomorrow where I am going to discuss the uh, potential for uh, future HasLabs, uh, namely with the HasLag flag that again, that has not been uh, confirmed. But again, I do think it is inevitable with the releases they've given us so far. Uh, so again, this is a, going to be a short video. I didn't want to take up too much of you guys' time. Uh, again, um, here we are. Again, some photos from the live stream for Pulse Premium members. And again, my highlight would have been, definitely been the Alley Viper. I love that shield. I love the guns. Again, this is all the information we had. Again, if you guys have any other questions or concerns, make sure you just send me a message. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, this is Sean of the King, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Okay.